What if we did a podcast? What if we lined up some of the world's top thinkers in science, astronomy, technology, academia, and futurism, and ask them to ponder some of the most popular what if videos of all time? This is What If Discussed. What if we lived 50 years into the future? The future is neutral. It's going to be whatever we want it to be and whatever we make of it. Sometime very, very soon, as we get better at this, we're going to be able to create virtual worlds that are more fun and more meaningful than regular reality. What if we are living in a simulation? Even if the simulation hypothesis is true, there is then the question of what that would entail, if anything. Should you live your life differently if you knew for sure you were in simulation? Other things you should do or not do. What if you fell into a pool of liquid nitrogen? It's a really interesting question, what would happen to you? Because when you fall into it, you would start to freeze and, and you'd feel all this, this these needles and pins all over your body. And at the same time, you'd be under a liquid, like being underwater, so you'd be drowning. What if we became cyborgs? I define myself as a cyborg because I am a cybernetic organism. Biologically, I am merged with technology or with cybernetics. Many people think we are against God. We're not against God. We're not going against our bodies. We are collaborating with God. What if we discovered alien life? We haven't hardly begun to look. And how much have we searched? And the answer is one glass of water out of all the Earth's oceans. What if we're living in a galactic zoo? I think when we imagine aliens, it's natural to project our greatest fears and our deepest desires out there. Realistically, I don't think we'll get either of those. But maybe what we most get is a chance to hold a mirror up to ourselves. What if half of the Earth's population was suddenly wiped out? 25 years ago, the world scientists warning the humanity and the world scientists statement on population all said, if you keep growing, you're screwed. Uh, and nobody pays any attention. Everybody is hooked on growth. What if we settled on the moon? I think we're going to be returning to the moon certainly within the next five years. Um, that won't be to stay. We possess the technology to go back and have a settlement within 10 years. Space has always been there alongside dinosaurs, the thing that captivates us when we're five years old and we never quite give it up. It's still captivating, it still inspires many, many questions. I have an older brother who got me into everything I'm into today. And I remember lying there with him looking up at the stars and he planted the notion in my mind that there could be life out there. To a five or six year old me, this was, this was a game changer. Join hosts Teddy Wilson and Richard Garner as they take a deeper dive into some of your favorite What If videos with some of the foremost thought leaders on the planet on What If Discussed. Listen at whatifshow.com forward slash podcast or wherever you listen and subscribe to podcasts.